Hi everyone, uh, in our today's session we are going to discuss the next topic of uh, single stage mass amplifier. So in the last session we have discussed uh, common source amplifier. Uh, so we have got some different equations for input uh, resistance, voltage gain, output resistance. So we will analyze now uh, the same common source amplifier. Uh, what happens if we are going to connect an uh, source resistance in the source terminal. So that is, uh, that is what our topic is all about. Common source amplifier with source resistance okay now uh, this circuit uh, is almost same uh, same as the common source amplifier whatever we have discussed now what is the change here is we have connected a source resistance with along with the source terminal in series with in series with this particular constant current source okay so uh, the working of all the capacitors is same now what is going to happen in, uh, in the small signal analysis if you connect source resistance. So what happens here is because of presence of this it is going to be helpful for the circuit such that it acts as a degeneration resistance. What is the degeneration resistance? We will see while we are going to analyze this. Okay. So this circuit I am going to draw a small signal, a small signal equivalent circuit of this small signal equivalent circuit of this using T model. Now you can observe source drain gate a T model is connected. T shape is connected in the form of uh, equivalent circuit model okay so remaining are at the input side and the output side are all going to remain same the current uh, source there it was gm into vgs now it is the current is i the drain current is nothing but i the small signal current is i now you just observe uh, since i am using a t model there is a short circuit over here because of this short circuit i can tell that va is not uh, going to be equal to vgs because presence of one more resistor called as 1 by gm 1 by there is gm because of connection of series resistance rs i am going to have an equivalent resistance that is 1 by gm in this equivalent model okay because of which now va is no more equal to vgs no more equal to vgs what is that we will see now now just observe since because of the short circuit and current flowing through this potential divider path is i now that i is nothing but v by v by r so the v at this terminal is vi divided by r is total resistance 1 by gm plus rs 1 by gm plus rs okay so if i am going to elaborate this you can observe it becomes g or vi gm divided by 1 plus gm into rs now you observe the rs is in the denominator of the drain current equation because of which drain current is going to be reduced drain current is going to be reduced thereby it helps the circuit from from this constant current source getting changed now because of any changes in the drain current is going to be reduced from this resistance due to which it acts as a degeneration resistance and gives an negative feedback path negative feedback path due to which the non-linear distortions are also going to be reduced this is the benefit of using an rs it gives degeneration resistance and it acts as a negative feedback path okay so if you move on to the analysis of this at the input side if i look from the input side the same margin is equals to rg okay rg now at this terminal if i apply potential divided path same V signal divided by V signal RG divided by RG plus R signal. Okay. So now if I say RG is very very high, I am going to cancel R very 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 high then R signal. RG RG will get cancelled and get VI approximately equal to V signal. Same as a common source amplifier. But I told you the difference VI is not equal to VGS. Then what is VGS? The VGS is across this particular register. V is nothing but I into R that i is nothing but small i into 1 by gm the small i into 1 by gm is equal to now just i have given i i is nothing but v i divided by 1 plus 1 by gm plus rs into 1 by gm now if i take 1 by gm common here 1 by gm 1 by gm will get cancelled finally i will get v i divided by 1 plus gm into rs now just you observe vgs vgs is in fraction of v i vgs is fraction of VA but there it was uh, in common source amplifier VA was directly equal to VGS because of presence of open circuit now in this case it is short circuited okay so now uh, in that regard 
now vgs as soon as vgs is fraction of uh, vi and you can observe the source resistance is present in the denominator it helps the circuit to maintain the small signal as small as possible or as low as possible now this is very very important uh, analogy or benefit of using rs so that means signal will be kept as small as possible now you just see at the output side at the output side if i am writing v not v not is equals to again i into r i is now reverse current uh, sorry negative is because of uh, negative feedback path applied minus id into what is the return resistance rd parallel to rl okay so now in this case you can observe we have neglected channel length modulation so id is rd parallel to rl now id you know that is the drain current minus vi gm by 1 plus gm into rs into rd parallel to rl okay so this is the output voltage now as usual we are going to calculate the voltage gain which is nothing but output by input now output is v not input in this case is vi not vgs now you can see v not by vi so nothing but minus gm now what is v not here it is vi present vi vi will get cancel the remaining is minus gm by 1 plus gm into rs into rd parallel to r very simple analysis since we have neglected uh, finite output resistance channel length modulation the analysis is going to become very simple now just observe next is open circuited uh, voltage gain we have discussed for open circuited voltage gain this uh, load resistance is removed so uh, by removing load resistance the equation is same minus gm rd by 1 plus gm into r rs now you can observe rd rl is removed rd is kept now this is clear now when you come to overall uh, voltage gain it is again v not by one v not by v signal v not by v signal which is equal to now just observe v not is this equation v signal is this equation now if i divide v not divided by v signal finally after cancelling i am going to arrive it as minus rg by rg plus r signal into gm rd parallel to rl divided by 1 plus gm into rs right it is just simplification dividing cancelling and uh, writing the answer okay so if you look from output side output side by considering rl, RL as input to the next stage it becomes output resistance becomes equal to rd output resistance becomes equal to rd right i hope uh, you have understood the concept of input resistance output resistance and how to calculate the voltage gain the benefits of uh, benefits of using rs is it creates a negative path it is a degeneration resistance it reduces the it reduces the non linear distortion and it maintains this small signal as much small as possible right that is advantage of using source resistance in series with the constant current source right i hope you understood this in the next session we will discuss common drain amplifier thank you